In this video, I will share how to use social proof to increase sales. Thanks to the internet and the advancements of technology, we can easily obtain social proof to validate the business easier than before. Let's learn how to fully utilize all kinds of social proof to grow your business. Let's start with the first category, how to use social proof on your website. What about, you can show the real-time statistic on your website. For example, how many people have viewed or viewing the page. The numbers in diary will create a sense of FOMO, especially for people who are just browsing the page for the first time. Next, you can show the total numbers of customer base on your website. The number will create value or trust in your brand. If your business is allowed to disclose the numbers, this can become another unique selling proposition for your brand. Depends on the type of your business, you can showcase the number of platform integration or official partners from other popular service providers. For example, make it clear to let the public know your service is able to integrate or sync with popular well-known services. Another good example is to display the e-wallet logo to let the customer know about the acceptable payment methods on your online stores. The second category of social proof is recognition. I think one of the most common types of recognition is rating reviews. People can easily check your Google reviews in the blink of the second from smartphone now. Not only the text reviews are providing valuable insights about your product or services, but the photos even better. If you are still in to grow your Google reviews, please start now. It's a long-term investment that worth the effort for your branding. Love it or hate it, different industry will have a different set of certifications, badges, or trust seals as the standard. You might think end user don't mind about tools, but for big corporations, international trading, and future expanding of business, everything counts. Try to research your competitors. Do they have any recognition or awards? Does it help to increase sales? Probably, and it is giving a good impression to the public. The third point is about e Commerce. Online store reviews already become the most important factor to buy or not. To encourage more customers to drop a review after purchase, merchants and marketplaces do offer some incentive as a reward. This will motivate you to build up more reviews. Do you know even a few words like popular posts or products? Display the numbers of orders, marking which product is the best seller also can indirectly affect the purchasing decision. Combining with product bundling strategy and pricing strategy will help to increase sales. Please watch my other video talking about product bundling strategy to learn more. Moreover, we keep seeing the customer also bought or customer recommendation section in marketplaces or e-commerce website. This can cross sales your product or services as well. Many online stores even purposely show this option during the checkout process to remind the customer to consider it. The fourth type of social proof is related to customers. Obviously, we need more testimonial to build trust in our brand. One way to reuse or repurpose the testimonial is to create a simple image post, to share the testimonial stories, or include it on your website. If you need more convincing content, case studies or customer showcases are perfect to get feedback from the real users. This also creates a win-win situation for you and your happy clients. Everyone also can get exposure and publicity. Videos testimonial is a great tool to build the trust to your brand. Some creative merchants even using this as a contest to encourage their customers to record a short video. The fifth type of social proof is about social media. This is why Facebook and Instagram emphasize engagement as part of their ranking algorithm. The numbers of likes, reactions, shares, and comments are important to influence the post is convincing or not. If you have a good content marketing on your website and people share the content over to social media, don't forget you can display the social share count on the post. You can easily install plugins to display the total numbers per social media platform on the post. Next type of social proof is related to third party. This can be celebrity or influencer endorsement, media mentions or ambassadors. As these groups of people or channels always gaining huge traffic and attention, they can create a tremendous effect for your brand. By the way, if the target audience still values the opinions of traditional channels like the magazine, newspaper or any offline media, they have the same effect as well. The thing that needs to be cautious is if the influencer or KL do something wrong, they might give a negative impression on your business indirectly. So be careful about the endorsement or sponsorship. The last category is a bit of surprise. No proof is better than low proof. If you only have a very low amount of social proof, it may be a good idea to eliminate it entirely. Then what is a good number of social proof? There is no specific answer about it. You have to test yourself. What about launching A-B testing to test 
this on your website. Apart from the typical traffic, CDR or conversion, I suggest installing a heat map tool to collect more real data. Watch my other video where I share how to get meaningful insights from the heat map. Okay, that's all about the channels and methods to utilize social proof to increase sales. Let's create more good social proof for our business. Thanks for watching and remember to like this video. See you in the next video.